Forgive and forget. Many of us are taught to turn the cheek and look the other way when you forgive. Basically, to forget what this person has done to you. I agree, we must forget the pain it has caused us. But we can turn the cheek and look elsewhere if this is a one-time thing or overall this person is a good person. However, if this is reoccurring and happens often, this relationship will hurt you more than it benefits you. The person is in your life for a reason and there are no coincidences with the universe. If you decide to stay with the person, then you find out why you're still with them. If they bring you about nothing but pain, you find out what's the reason why you want to be with them. Do you feel helpless? Is it because of kids? No money? Dependent? Do you feel guilty? Like for example, they helped you a lot. Do you feel like there's nothing out there working for you? There's nothing there. You can't find a better person. You're too old, unattractive, no skills, tired to start over again. And there's nothing better out there. Once you find out the reason why you're disempowering yourself, you want to release it. You want to make prayers and, and affirmations to release all of these pain and to empower yourself because what has going to happen is the universe is going to bring you this person over and over and over again until you realize why this person is in your life and sometimes they may come in a different shape you know you may end up breaking the relationship with that person and get another relationship that is similar it could be from a job to a, a boss right it could be a, a boyfriend or girlfriend and then it's your partner who has these um, qualities so you have to find the reason why because the universe sends you love and wants to provide you but if you always decide to stay with the person then is a lot of people decide to leave the person without finding out the lesson what this person is supposed to teach you so then the universe comes in and says okay you chose to end this friendship or relationship we're gonna have to find someone else to replace you because our priority is to clear the patterns and all this heavy emotions within you that this person was supposed to teach you so the cycle will repeat until you reflect and forgive and forget analyze the feelings and the emotions that was experienced during this relationship if the lesson is learned and you're still in a relationship with this abusive person then the universe will intervene to end something that has been learned right if you're with this person and you already learned everything and now uh, you're only there because uh, you lack money, but you've cleared all the trauma. You realize that lack of money is because of your parents and ancestral, and you just start writing about this pain, and then you just empower yourself, saying, I'm abundant, and you start doing some self-reflection. Then the universe will come in in those rotten relationships and will find a way to end it because there's no use for it, right? Something will happen. Not in a bad thing, not disastrous, but maybe someone got a promotion or has to move a city, or any other ways that the universe will try to split people up. If you are too quick to end a relationship without learning the lesson, then the universe will intervene, ensuring someone else or something else will re-enter your life, but in a different form. Like I was saying, if you have a um, relationship, a boyfriend or girlfriend, and um, you ended it too quickly without learning the lesson, the universe may end up, uh, when you apply for a job, you may have... A different type of relationship with the boss uh, that will reflect on the way emotions the way that person carried uh, their feelings towards you but not deep feelings but the way they communicated to you or your emotions so it's the mirror effect will come in a different way therefore sometimes it is in your advantage to stay in a rotten job or a rotten relationship or bad friendship or other types of relationship in order to analyze your emotions how fast do you get triggered how do you communicate when you get angry? How do you express your emotions? How do you release that frustration? Do you internalize it? Express it with addictions? Do you stay quiet and uh, give the cold shoulder to the person? Do you project it onto others, becoming a vampire? Finding out how you behave, even if you're right about this. is The universe doesn't care who's right and wrong. The universe only cares about the emotions, the heavy um, patterns the the, the non-physical stuff the habits the patterns the beliefs the, pro the programming the communication style the anxiety release style we're all living in a time to clear all these ancestral patterns and deciding to stay or leave in this abusive with this abusive person will depend on your self-reflective abilities god's first priority is to remove any habits and patterns once they're removed God can hand over the wishes you've prayed for over and over because He heard your, your, your wishes. It's just that He can't give you a positive 
thing where you're holding a negative belief. You can't have a positive belief mixed with a negative belief. It's like saying the the electrons are next to the protons all together packed next to the nu nucleus. It's a quantum physics thing. It's not possible. You need to remove the negative thing. And then that's what God's priority is to remove. The universe priority is to remove that negative thing. Then to hand you over to a positive belief. So for example, if I want, if you're saying I want a partner that will love me forever, where you have a pattern as a child saying, and you've seen your parents have bad relationship, and you're saying to yourself, it's not a life to have kids, kids don't deserve to be in this world, or relationship don't exist, there is no such thing as love, and sex is the only thing there is. See, now they're contradicting. So the universe and God will only try the first priority is to remove the negative thing the negative belief once that has been removed remove all the patterns the belief the emotions the habits which are not yours it all it all belongs to your ancestors just them passing it over to you so once you do that the universe can uh, give you what you desire